Hi, I haven't posted um, about my car accident in some time. Posted about my car accident in 2014 and I was able to reach a lot of people and I want to continue to do that but I also want to explain um, a lot of history as well so this is going to be broken into different segments um, so I can upload it easier number one and number two so everybody can understand and follow and hopefully um, my story my life story so far can help other people um, so I just want to take it all the way back I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna try to keep it into segments I can be long-winded um, but I want to start all the way back so people understand a little bit more about my situation hopefully possibly I can help even one person if I help one person then I have definitely done my job so baby Bonnie um, being born I was born with rheumatoid arthritis so in, with rheumatoid arthritis you you have it, it's not just your joints rheumatoid arthritis is chest pain shoulder pain difficult breathing um, dry eyes dry mouth I don't necessarily get the dry mouth um, or the dry eyes yet just knock on some wood here um, but I definitely have chest pain occasionally it's difficult breathing occasionally shoulder pain um, fingers you know your joints I mean you can tell by looking at my hands and um, it says bumpy skin I don't have that either uh, wrist numb weak weak in the knees um, ankles, toes, like all of it. Every joint that you could possibly think of in your body hurts. And it might not hurt all the time. Sometimes you go into remission and remission is great. And sometimes some people beat it and they just go into remission permanently, which is fantastic. But rheumatoid arthritis is a, it's an autoimmune deficiency disorder. So during COVID, I definitely have been wearing my masks. Now, not if I'm outside doing exercise or activity because I need to be able to breathe in that fresh air. You know what I mean? Um, but when I'm around people, I definitely have to protect myself. I have a different situation than a lot of other people do and I have to protect myself and it's fine. I rarely, you know, it's not like there's a lot of things that happen right now. So um, going to the grocery store, going to the regular store like Target and whatnot. I just put my mask on because I have to protect me. It is my job, my responsibility. Um, so I have dealt with that my whole life. And when I first started, I'm also a professional wrestler. Um, when I first started wrestling in 2000, I didn't tell anybody I had rheumatoid arthritis because in my head, I believed that it was something that people wouldn't hire me for or you know, it was, I felt like it was a secret I had to keep, and even my friend Lacey knows that. She, she, I don't, I'm pretty sure she didn't go running her mouth to people saying, "Oh, she's got a rheumatoid she should be wrestling." She didn't do any of that. Um, but it has been, I think, wrestling actually helped me because it made me more active. And when I was born, and when I was young, and even throughout my um, adolescence, I was told that I can't. Um, I will back up to about the age of 16. I think it was about 14 to 16. I've had multiple surgeries my whole entire life. If I count all of them, I have had about 25 surgeries. So um, when I was about 14 to 16, I actually over the summer, I think it was maybe 14, I developed Bell's palsy from one of my surgeries. So that means I woke up one day and I had it after a surgery. Thank God it only lasted two months for me, but during the two months, my siblings were, no, not siblings, my cousins, because I was a girl for all my siblings, that's another story. Um, my cousins were not nice to me at all. So thank God it wore off within two months and by the time the summer was over and school was back on, I didn't have it anymore. So I'm just extremely grateful that that didn't stick around. Now fast forward to wrestling. Um, when I first started wrestling, I didn't tell my rheumatologist 
that I was a professional wrestler. And throughout the years, the first couple years, she actually found me on like a local cable television show, Steal the Main Championship Wrestling. So uh, she wasn't pleased, but she said, well, at least keeping you active, just don't break any bones. Can't say I haven't done that either. Um, I have definitely broken a few bones. Um, some was unintentionally my fault, and it's worse when you hurt yourself, and some was definitely not my fault. But I stayed active, and it actually helped me throughout my adulthood, and it still does. When I was inactive and I was young, I was in more pain, I was in bed, they did everything wrong for me because their knowledge wasn't get up and move if you hurt, the knowledge was stay in bed if you hurt, and that's the worst thing you could do with rheumatoid arthritis. Now, if you're sick, then you stay in bed, which everybody should do. Um, I'm gonna stop this here for part one, just because it's already six minutes long and it takes forever to upload things, we all know that. So I will, on um, part two, I will talk about my wrestling career and some things, some obstacles that I had to deal with during, and not just injuries, I mean other obstacles.